Hello and welcome to the 12th tutorial in the Cocos 2 dx JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at scaling using the scale to method. It's very similar to the scale by method which we used in the previous tutorial but with the scale to method it scales it in relative to its original size. So you give it a time duration for the animation and you give it a scale for the x and the y. So if you give it two in the x and the y you will scale it from let's say if it was 100 by 100 pixels scale it to 200 by 200 if you give it two again in the x and the y it actually won't change because it just changes it relative to its original size so let's just get into the code we'll be using the code from tutorial 3 as the code base that will be available in the description via a link plus as usual the code for from this tutorial will also be available via a link in the description. Then you want to go to myapp.js. After we've added the child, you want to create a new action. I'm going to call it sprite underscore action equals cc dot scale two dot create open bracket now we gotta put how many seconds we want the animation to last number two seconds scale it in the x by two scale in the y by two and that's it close bracket semicolon sort out the formatting as usual now we're just going to run this action this dot my sprite dot run action open bracket sprite action close bracket semicolon Sort of the formatting analysis running in the simulator. Here we go. As you can see, scaled by two in the X and the Y uh, compared to its original size. But what we'll do, we'll actually uh, change this now, so it's a repeat action, so we'll put var repeat underscore action equals cc dot repeat dot create open bracket sprite action comma, and we're going to make it repeat three times, close bracket semicolon, I'm going to change this action to repeat action. And the basically what will happen is nothing. The result will be the same. I didn't see it scaled, but the actual scaling uh, resulted in the same size. And like I said, the reason is it scales it relative to its original size. It doesn't scale it uh, according to its current size, unlike its brother method, the scale by. And that's it. That's all you need to know about the scale to method. All the source code will be via, it will be in the description via links and thanks for watching.